Hello everyone, my name is Sunny Rajput, a data scientist student from Alma Better. Here uh, I came up with my next caption project, Netflix movies and uh, TV shows plus trend. So before moving forward, let me introduce my team members, Kajal Dhuna and Navin Kumar Samhari. So uh, the project Netflix movies and uh, TV shows plus trend basically uh, uses unsupervised machine learning algorithm to analyze and cluster um, unlabeled data. Uh, this uh, algor these algorithms uh, will discover hidden patterns uh, in a data set uh, without the need of human intervention. So let's come to the problem statement first. This data set consists of TV shows and movies available on Netflix uh, as of 2019 and uh, the data set is collected from Flexible. Here Flexible is a third party Netflix search engine. In 2018, they released an interesting report uh, which shows that the number of TV shows on Netflix has uh, nearly tripled since 2010 and the streaming service number of movies has decreased by more than 2000 titles since 2010 while its number of TV shows has uh, nearly tripled. So it will be interesting to explore what all other insights can be obtained from the same data set. So let's see the content of our uh, presentation. Here we will firstly discuss about uh, the description of data, then we will see the exploratory data analysis and then uh, we will move uh, forward with the uh, feature engineering and uh, its selection. Then we will see the data pre-processing and after that we will discuss about the clustering methods and then clustering models and then we will wrap up all the things with the conclusion. So let's see the data description first. Here we have a Netflix data with the duration as numerical data and uh, some columns show ID, type, uh, director, date, country, title, cast, year, rating listed in description as a well categorical data. This data set consists of 7,757 rows and uh, 12 columns. So it's picking about missing values. Here around uh, 5 columns contain null values. In which uh, one column, which is director, has huge number of missing values. So we will just drop that column. And uh, the column cast and country, we will uh, replace the null values in these two columns with the high occurring value. Now we will discuss about the exploratory data analysis. So firstly we will see the duration distribution. Here we can see that we have a normalized, normalized distribution here. Uh, which is a uh, look uh, like a bell curve approximately and uh, we can see that uh, most of the movies shows have a duration around uh, 60 minutes to 150 minutes and uh, let's see the country wise movie shows produced here in the pie chart we can clearly see that 53.9% uh, of the producers who produce Netflix movie shows are from United States followed by India uh, with around 16.3 percent and now let's see the, the types of Netflix content here in this pie chart we can clearly see uh, the distribution of TV show and movie around the 69.14 percent of the data is of movie content and 30.86 uh, percent of data is of Netflix TV shows moving to the next slide we will see the release year of type content we have uh, two graphs here, one of movie, one for shows. So count of movies is uh, high in the year 2017, then uh, slightly decreases in uh, count uh, in 2018. And in the shows graph, we can see the count of shows is high in 2020 year. Moving to the next slide, we can clearly see uh, the content Netflix content over years, and uh, here we can see that uh, there is a range raise, uh, in content added after 2016 and then after seeing after seeing this rating distribution here we can observe that both movies and shows have highest count of TVME so TVME is uh, TV mature audience rating that is more than 1750 TVME rating contain movies and uh, more than 1000 TVMA rating contain shows. Now let's see the top 5 movies with the highest uh, movies length. 
here in this uh, um, bar graph we can see that movie id uh, number 957 have the duration more than 300 minutes and uh, at the fifth position we have movie id uh, 5108 which have the duration length is uh, around 230 minutes now uh, we uh, see the exploratory data we have see the uh, exploratory data analysis now we will uh, discuss about the data pre-processing here we will firstly see uh, that uh, how we work on text based features which are description and uh, listed in then uh, we will remove some uh, punctuation and stop box from text features and uh, then we perform a stemming process applied for those text features now we will see the clustering methods so as we all know clustering methods are used to cluster uh, the data points behaving similar into a cluster and uh, the data points uh, behaving not sim similar uh, con uh, to the other cluster so we will use some clustering method like silhot, elbow method, agglomerative, dendrogram. Here uh, we will start with the silhot method. So uh, silhot method is a measure of accuracy of cluster with the help of silhot coefficient uh, with the range minus 1 to plus 1. Uh, telling, uh, speaking about uh, ranges, here we can see that uh, one range. Basically, one range, uh, the one range tells us that number of clusters are appropriate, and the range zero tells that the number of clusters are not significant. And um, uh, speaking about the range minus one, which tells us number of clusters are not assigned in a, a good way, or we can say that they are assigned in wrong way. So here we have two purpose of uh, this method. First one is cohesion and the uh, second one is separation. Cohesion is uh, uh, basically uh, the that see we uh, we see here that this how much our data points are similar in same cluster and uh, separation is how our data point of one cluster is different from the data point of other clusters. So here uh, by applying this method we can see best we get uh, best uh, score 0 0.34861 for uh, three number of clusters now moving to the next slide and uh, start uh, our elbow uh, let's speak about our elbow method here uh, we can see that um, firstly uh, about is elbow method so basically elbow method is used to minimize the distance uh, between data points in a cluster and to maximize the distance uh, between data points in clusters so here we can see our x-axis denote the number of clusters and uh, y-axis denote WCSS which is within clusters a sum of squares for each number of clusters. So graph is rapidly uh, change at a point and uh, number of clusters create a uh, create an elbow shape. Here uh, we, when a number of clusters create an elbow shape we get number of cluster 3 here. Uh, which is uh, our uh, selected optimal number of cluster. If uh, uh, talking about elbow method, if uh, we choose one cluster for an observation, that is also not good. And if we choose an observation and clusters with uh, for an observation, then that is also definitely not uh, of definitely of no use. So uh, our best uh, optimal uh, solution for this that we have to choose smallest number of cluster for an observation for uh, a good solution so now let's move to the next uh, method which is k-mean clustering here uh, we can see that uh, there are three cluster in total which are visualized in different uh, uh, different color uh, and uh, centered of each cluster is visualized in red dot and we also get here number of cluster uh, is equals to three now Let's move forward with our hierarchical clustering. Here we will use two ways. Uh, first one is dendrogram and second one is agglomerator. So in dendrogram, uh, we can see that it is a tree-like structure uh, with some levels having a certain class on each level. And uh, after slicing this dendrogram horizontally, we get uh, our first generation at the top uh, which is grandparent and uh, second generation at next level uh, which is our parent and uh, at the final level we have our third generation which is children 
so uh, it's uh, all about dendrogram and uh, we can here clearly see that here again we get number of clusters is goes to 3 now let's see the hierarchical clustering uh, where we use agglomerative clustering so uh, here we can see that it is used to group uh, to over clusters uh, and uh, every data point starts uh, as its own cluster then we combine all the cluster which are relatively close to each other and here we can see clearly that again we got number of clusters is equals to 3 now it's time to wrap up all the things with the conclusion after exploring the data set the percentage distribution of the types of content in netflix is uh, 69.14 percent contain uh, movies and 38.86 uh, percent contain tv shows in analyzing the content added over years uh, we got to know that um, in recent years netflix is focusing on movies than tv shows that is movies is increased by 80 percent and the tv shows is uh, increased by approximately 70 percent compares to 2016 data by applying Silhouette score method for n range clusters, we get the best score which is 0 0.348 for number of cluster 3. Speaking about other different cluster methods which are k-mean, hierarchical, agglomerative clustering on data, we get the best cluster arrangements and uh, we get our optimal number of clusters which is 3. Thank you.